coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming to the classroom. Today I'm doing a special episode, something I've never done before, because today I'm filming in front of a live studio audience. Yay! Uh, it's the second last day of school, and I just thought it'd be fun to let the students see what happens here behind the scenes at BoardGameTeacher.com Incorporated, uh, patent pending, trademarked, and yeah. So today we're taking a look at a game. And this is actually a gift from a very special friend of Ray Lawson Public School, and that is Mrs. Joan Van Duzer. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Van Duzer, for giving us this game. Thank you, Mrs. Van Duzer. We went up to, the grade fives went up to visit her farm the other day, and uh, she knows of my channel and said that maybe I would like this game. And I did very much. We have played it, and I'm ready to give you my assessment on it. So here we go. All right, so looking at the report card for this game, I give the number of players a B. Uh, it plays up to four players, and uh, I was hoping that maybe it could stretch out to, you know, accommodate maybe a couple groups of four, but there's, um, I don't think, enough cards to do that. So in this case, uh, I think you really do have to stick it to four players, and which makes for a nice center, and so that's why I give it a B. So for learning, I'm going to give this game a B+. Plus. And I give it a B plus because not only does it have the benefits of the learning that you're doing with the sort of uh, building your words, so you're, you're increasing your vocabulary, you're, you're benefiting your spelling, but you are also going to be doing a lot of adding and subtracting. Adding as you add words, you get the points for adding the words, and then subtracting for um, when you steal words from other players, you take the points away from them, and so you're constantly adding and subtracting those points. So I think that uh, for those reasons, of the, the way it really sort of benefits both those skills, I give it the B+. Plus. For fun, I give the game a B. Um, with playing with the students, we felt it was fun. It was a good game. It, it was, again, it's better than doing a... You know, some other boring activity you could do out of a workbook or a worksheet or something like that. It's more engaging, it's more motivating because it is fun. Um, there was a little bit of like, yeah, we didn't like it so much when people stole our words, but you know, that is that is part of the game. I mean, it's just called Word Thief, it's not just called Word. So, uh, you know, you have to accept that part of the game, and if, you know, students are going to get upset by that, that's, you know, just understand it's just part of the game. And it just encourages them to build bigger, better words, as well as, you know, there's ways to protect your words, which I will show in just a minute. So for time, I give the game a B plus. B plus because it's one of those games that you can play as long as you want. You don't have to play to the natural completion of the game, which is when you run out of the deck of cards. You can play for 10 minutes. You can play for an hour or until you run out of the cards, however long you want. So whatever period you are looking to fill with playing this game or time period, then you can do so with this game. It's very, very flexible that way. So I like that about it. So B+. Plus. And for cost, I'm going to give the game a, I don't know, question mark, uh, because it's not available in stores right now. It's hard, a little harder to find. So this is the kind of game you're going to be looking for in your local thrift stores, garage sales, things like that. Or if you happen to visiting nice people at farms that want to donate games to your board game club, then you know, gladly accept this one. Um, there, I saw there was on BoardGameGeek.com. When I looked there, there are a couple on... Uh, for sale on eBay, like $10 to $12 US, so plus the shipping. But you know, if you can get your hands on a copy, like I said, if you're at a local thrift store, if it ever comes back in print, then I think it's a good uh, one to consider for an addition to your classroom. So, let's take a look at how the game is played. The setup for Word Thief is very simple. You're going to have, you know, seven de uh, cards dealt to each player, and there's up to four players, and there's a pad which you can use. Alternatively, you can use the poker chips. So each one is going to be implementing in uh, different math skills. So again, maybe as a consideration of what kinds of skills you want to be uh, working on with your students. In the game, what you're going to be doing is one player is going to look at their hand of cards, and they're going to be making the best word that they can. Now, I could make the word den, for example, D-E-N. And den, underneath the D here, you see there's, now every card has uh, suits, so these are all diamonds, and it's two, three, four, two, one, one, so it's four points for this word. Now it's going to be doubled because they're all one suit, so I, get, I would get eight points for that. So I could either write eight 
on my column here, or I could take a five and three ones. So in, with the poker chips, the, the white ones are, are ones, the blues are fives, and the reds are twenties. So I give myself that many points. Now the next, then I would take three cards back again. Now the next player looks at theirs. Uh, maybe the other player would put down HOG for hog, and they would get two, three, eight points as well. So with the eight points now, now notice theirs are not, they're all three different suits, so they're not going to get that multiple bonus. They talk about playing with a trump card in this, but uh, I find it's just, un, you know, not necessary. Comes back to the first player again. When you have all the cards of one suit, they cannot be stolen. So these cards are protected, will never be taken away. Whereas these ones that are different suits, I can take these if I want and turn these into, if I can use all of these letters in a new word or new words, then, so I could take that, I can make how and gab. So I take away all the points from the other player because I took away their word. So they actually now have to subtract the points from their thing. Now they have a plus column and a minus column and I find that a little bit confusing. I would rather just continually do it. So this is going to give you the continual practice of addition and subtraction as you go through it. So I'd remove all the points from that player and now I have seven, eight points for this word and 10, 11 points for this words. So I just made 19 points while taking the points away from the other player. But again, my words don't have any um, common suit. They're all different suits again. So these can also now be stolen. So and it's going to go back and forth and back and forth. So on your turn, you are simply either making your own word or stealing a word, which you then turn into one or more words by rearranging the letters and adding. You must be adding letters from your hand as well. And you keep playing until you feel you don't want to play anymore or until the deck runs out. And that's Word Thief. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. If you have any questions about Word Thief or have any other ideas for things you might like to see on the channel, games or otherwise, please leave me a message in the comment section below. And my students are reminding me to tell you, please hit like and subscribe. Okay. Yeah, shake three. And now I'm being told too that there's a bell which you should click to make sure that anytime I post new content, you get a notification because I'm sure you want to know that ASAP. But until next time, I'm Craig Thompson with the board game teacher saying thanks for coming to the classroom. <laughs>